It's our Get a Job segment, and my guest today, Gail Cruikshank, Talent Director, Greater St. Cloud Development Corporation, and Nick Teets, Nick is the founder and CEO of ILT Studios. Gail and Nick, thanks for joining me today. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so today uh, we are talking about being the next entrepreneur. Um, certainly, that's a that's a big undertaking. Um, Gail, can you give me kind of an outline of uh, what an entrepreneur is? Absolutely, Jay. And the reason we wanted to highlight and touch base today about the whole uh, concept of entrepreneurship is it really can be anyone in the community. There are not specific skill sets you absolutely positively have to have to be an entrepreneur. And so it's really anyone that has an idea or has a passion or has a problem and then they really want to figure out how to solve it. And certainly critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, and a vision are certainly some of those traits we look for. But really, it's all about those skills and then a passion for the community. And that's why we wanted to highlight that today on, on our section. Okay. So why, why would we focus or what would the focus be when you're talking about entrepreneurship? The reason that we want to put such a focus on this is we want our communities to thrive. We want them to grow and we want to take all of this great talent that we have within our community and and improve our community. And and what I mean by that is um, we have all of these post-secondary institutions right in our location here in St. Cloud that are educating these exceptionally talented folks. And so many of them have great ideas and great visions on where they want to go with what their career might be, or maybe start their own or be that entrepreneur. And our goal is we want to try and retain those folks in our region. You know, we have so many talented folks, and if we could keep them right here to help to grow and build our community, our community is only going to thrive due to that. And so for that very reason, it has been a, really a priority with GSDC to advance business startup and entrepreneurial ecos- ecosystems within our region. So our goal is if we can keep these skills, keep people excited, give them the nurturing they need at the beginning, then maybe they're going to keep their great idea right here in the region and help us grow and help us thrive. What things, I mean, what things can you do? I mean, you, you mentioned, you know, trying to encourage that, but how do you encourage that to try to get people interested in being an entrepreneur and staying in this community? Well, we've got lots of programs that are going, and that's why I wanted Nick to join us today, because he's really at the heart of all of them in one way, shape, or no form, anything from our high school kids all the way up to anybody in the community. So I'd like him to share some of the great programs and some of the ways that those people that are sparking some interest by listening to us this morning can really reach out and and get started. All right, Nick, why don't you join us and and tell us before we get into uh, discussing entrepreneurship from your standpoint, uh, what is uh, ILT Studios? What do you do? Yes. So uh, ILT Studios is a startup studio, uh, and we uh, designed this to help serve serve underestimated entrepreneurs in underserved geographies. So rural communities, uh, urban communities like North and South Minneapolis, and informal settlements um, in third world countries. And so what we want to do is help those early stage entrepreneurs understand that there's better and different ways to get their ideas off the ground. Um, And they simply need to start with uh, understanding uh, what it means uh, to build a startup, how to find um, a market, their customer, an opportunity. Um, and we think that having a studio here in St. Cloud uh, is a great way to showcase what this kind of new model for entrepreneurship is. Um, and, and we believe that model uh, works best when we start to plug in uh, the parts of the ecosystem that are already geared towards supporting uh, startups and early stage founders. So if someone comes to you, Nick, with an idea um, and they're like, I don't know where I go from here, is that where you can help them out? (laughs) Yes, exactly. We are designed to expand access to better training tools uh, in and around greater Minnesota. And we've got programming that addresses the key elements of the startup process so that we can get people going. And, you know, as Gail mentioned, we think that if we build the right spaces and places here in St. Cloud, more of our diverse talent will stay 
And, uh, and that includes people that are already in the corporate world that um, have a ton of great ideas that are brimming, but you know, they might not be, uh, they might not know how to get their idea off the ground as well. Are, are people somewhat afraid of being an entrepreneur because of the risk? Um, I, I think that that definitely plays into it. I know uh, when I talk with early stage founders um, and I ask them, well, what's stopping you from getting this idea going? To be honest, the number one reason is probably health insurance. Um, and that's probably, if I put that in the category of risk, that's one of the biggest things that they're worried about when trying to get their idea off the ground is that is that they aren't going to have they, they will not have uh, proper health coverage. But I, I would say they're probably less fearful of if they have a good idea um, and if there's a market for it. Um, but but, you know, risk is the uh, I think it's probably one of the key attributes that keeps somebody from moving their idea forward. Nick, do you see that uh, that people that come to you with ideas um, maybe have, like you mentioned, those in the corporate industry, maybe they already have a job and they're thinking of this as like a side hustle kind of thing. Is that where entrepreneurship <laughs> sometimes starts as someone who is fully employed but is looking to do something different but doing that in their off time? Um, yeah, I, I, I think that that's a natural place um, for people to start. Um, you know, the goal being that they want to make this a full-time thing. Um, but yeah, I, 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 that's where I started. Um, and, um, I see a lot of people coming out of whether it's a full-time corporate job or, uh, you know, any type of <clears throat> um, vocation where they've developed a certain level of subject matter expertise, or frankly, they discover a problem that they want to solve, um, and they want to turn it into a business. And that's where we think we can help. How can, hey, Jay. yeah, go ahead, Gail. Yeah, I was just going to say on the flip side, what's been so exciting um, for one of the aspects of what Nick is doing too is as many people are in that example that you shared, we're also um, opening this up to high schools and just in, you know, so as students are starting to formulate, what are they passionate about? You know, maybe a lot of those are interested. We're finding more and more of our upcoming future talent want to be an entrepreneur. They've got a lot of vision. And so what's really exciting is these programs that Nick leads are also in our high schools, in our area high schools. So those students that are excited about that and want to start at that level, they have that opportunity as well as somebody that maybe is already working in a business that you referenced. Okay. Um, well, and, and, and it, it sounds like, I mean, startup would probably be the big challenge, um, getting going. Um, and there's a financial part of that, um, but you don't want to spend your money poorly when it comes to startup. Uh, so Nick, do you have some advice for people that are looking to be an entrepreneur and how they can be smart about how they get that start, those startup dollars going? Yeah. Um, you know, well, one of the things is that we have a program that we've, uh, started, um, in a partnership with launch Minnesota and, GSDC and some of the other economic developers, um, which allows anyone to come and learn uh, some of the and practice some of these early skills needed to get their idea going. Um, you know, whether it's a high school student, uh, someone out in the community, or someone in the corporate world. Um, and, and and I think then in response to your question as well, um, what this is all about is placing small bets, and so you should only spend as much. Uh, as many of your resources needed to make it to the next level. So if it's, is this a good idea? What's the smallest bet you can make to learn if it's a good idea? Is this a problem we're solving? What's the smallest bet that you can make to understand if this is a problem we're solving? And then lastly, is it important to you? Because if it's not important to you, it might take you five to 10 years to get your idea off the ground. And the number one question I ask entrepreneurs is, are you willing to make that kind of commitment and what will it take for you to get your business off the ground? Anything that we haven't touched on here, Gail, you wanted to bring up today? Well, I wanted to definitely direct. So if people are interested in learning more, um, they can reach out to Nick directly at www.iltacademy.io. So, and also JobSpot for all of you um, has a new home on stcloudshines.com. And so I encourage you to, if you are somebody that is looking for a new job, different job, beginning job, we've got over 6,000 jobs posted on JobSpot right now. 
And the majority of them, over 6,000, are full-time out of that 6,500. And so great opportunities. So it's stcloudshines.com. Okay, very good. And uh, for those of you that are listening, you want to get a quick uh, link to those, uh, both of those that uh, that Gail had mentioned. We'll have this uh, particular conversation posted in podcast form a little bit later on this morning with those links available as well. Uh, Nick and Gail, thanks for joining me today. You have a great day and stay warm. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. That's uh, Gail Crookshank, Talent Director. Greater St. Cloud Development Corporation, Nick Teets, founder and CEO of ILT Studios. This has been our Get a Job segment on WJON.